Hi there, welcome back to Becoming Me. I am Lee, as always. Uh, thank you for uh, coming back again through these videos. Um, today I want to talk just a little bit um, about sacrifices. Being trans is good for me. It's been great for me. It's helped me be who I am, and that is huge. And for most of it, I'm really happy. But, you know, it's not always that easy. Let me tell you about my granny. Um, my grandparents on my mum's side, um, I spent a lot of time with them growing up, as much time as they would let me, pretty much. Yeah. Um, I adored them. I did, always did. Uh, my granddad died a little over 10 years ago. Um, my granny's still alive, but she's in a care home and she has dementia. The last time I saw her was uh, the beginning of starting my transition and then she barely recognized me barely knew who I was when she did remember who I was she remembered a younger version of me so she was really surprised by what she was seeing and what that means is that she wouldn't know me now I look different I sound different I am different she wouldn't know me anymore And what that means is that I can't see her. And even though she's not the person that I grew up knowing, even though she's lost most of herself to this dementia, I still want to see her, but I can't. Because doing so would just... It would just hurt her. She wouldn't know who I was. She wouldn't remember. I can't even imagine a way in which I could explain it which would make sense to her. And it would confuse her and it would cause her pain and I don't want that. You could say sure, okay, you know, she'd be confused for a bit, but you know, maybe she'd forget about it very shortly, which she probably would, and you know, maybe she'd show me some acceptance, which is something I would love to to get from her. But I I can't do that. I I can't. It it would cause her pain and even if that was fleeting, it's not worth it just to try and coax some sort of acceptance speech out of her. It's not, the pain is unnecessary, and I wouldn't want to cause it to her. That would be a horrible thing to do. It would also be a horrible thing to do to myself. Either it would hurt because I'd have to go through everything she wouldn't understand, it would hurt because she'd forget it again afterwards, or it would hurt because she wouldn't accept me. I don't want to do that to her or to me. So. I haven't seen her in a couple of years, and I hate that, but I I made the choice. I made the choice to be me, and that means that some of the other choices I have to make along with that are hard ones. I hope that in, you know, the next world she will see and know and understand, and I hope that she would accept. I hope that she, who has always been really supportive of me in general and with everything and has always accepted me for just who I am. I hope that that would have continued if she'd been able to to see this me, to see this version of me. And I hope the same thing about my granddad, but I, I don't know for sure. I can't know for sure. And I hate that I don't know because they've been so important to me and they form such a large part of, of who I actually am. they can't know. It's too late. I waited too long to see who I was and that means that I can't show it to her and that makes me really sad but I don't want to cause her the pain and the confusion that would happen if I showed up and started trying to explain who I was. It, wouldn't, it would be unfair and cruel to her and to me I do hope that she would have continued to love me, but I know that just because somebody says they love you and just because somebody says they care about you doesn't mean that they will continue to accept you when you become something that is inconvenient or new or different. I know that, and so I can't know for sure. And I live with that. I live with the fact that I made the choice that means I will never know. I live with the fact that I waited too long, so I will never know. I live with the fact that I just, 
I can't see her. But you know, there's a there's another side to all this as well as a thing is that uh, no matter how much I persuaded myself, even if I could persuade myself that somehow it was worth the pain to me and to my granny, even if I did get that, they would still be my parents. My dad is so horrified and disgusted by my existence as myself that he pretends I don't exist, as far as I can tell. And my mum is so horrified and ashamed of who I am that she does everything within her power to keep from acknowledging it even to me when she's talking to me, uh, never mind to anybody else. I know the rest of my family don't know. When they ask how I'm doing, I really do wonder what she says, but I'm, I know that she never says the truth because I, I think she's ashamed of me. I can't see any other reason why she's so resistant. It's just, you know, I know it's hard for her, but the way, the way, the, the levels to which she goes to avoid it, that's all I can see. So, hurting my granny like that, if they found out, <coughs> it wouldn't help matters. And I don't want to make things any worse with them than they already are. It's bad enough as it is. It's hard enough and painful enough as it is, without adding more to it. I don't want people to hurt because of me. I don't want people to hurt because I found who I was and they can't deal with it. And I can't do anything to stop that or help them. And I wish I could, but I can't. And so I have to deal with the fact that there are people that are supposed to love me that are only willing to love a version of me that doesn't really exist. So, sacrifice. I've lost my granny because I can't see her. I, I've lost my parents because they don't see me. I've lost others, I've lost friends, or people who were supposed to be friends, <laughs> who just cannot deal. I made the choice to be me, and that meant some sacrifices, and I can't do anything to take that back. Now, I couldn't. I, I, I don't want to. At the end of the day, I don't want to. I, I'm better as I am, but it still means that I have to hurt because of the things I've lost. That was what needed to come out today. And so thank you for listening, if you're still here listening. Thank you very much. I really, really do appreciate you. And thank you.